you know that soil can be healthy or unhealthy? Well, how do I know that my soil is healthy or unhealthy? Well, look to your garden. If your soil is allowing plants to grow to their maximum potential, without disease, without pests, and without the need for more synthetic supplements, then yes, you have a healthy soil. Healthy soil is teeming with a lot of tiny creatures, like bacteria, fungi, protozoa, algae, and they are very important for plant and soil health. Soil bacteria, for example, produce antibiotics that help plants to resist to certain disease, or soil fungi that helps plant and assist plants to absorb water and nutrients. Together, bacteria and fungi are known as organic matter. My name is Barbara, and today my friends Grace and Gabriel will show you guys through an amazing demonstration how a healthy and an unhealthy soil react after rainfall. Hi, my name is Grace, and the first part of our demonstration, I'm going to focus on rain, a rainfall simulation on degraded soil. So the flower right here is going to represent our degraded soil. Uh, this water bottle full of orange dye is going to represent chemicals. And then this little water bottle is going to represent rainfall. So completing the demonstration, I'm going to first actually spray uh, the orange dye on our flower. This represents chemicals on the degraded soil and then the rainfall. So as you can see, when it rains on degraded soil, uh, a lot of the rain is actually not absorbed by the soil, but instead runs off it and creates more of a puddle with the orange dye. To better represent this, we are going to pretend my finger is a plant and I'm going to stick it in the flower. And when I take my finger out, you can see that most of it's dry. There is a little bit of it wet, but this shows that when a plant sticks its roots into degraded soil, it's not able to absorb a lot of the water or nutrients. Um, two of the biggest problems with degraded soil when, when rainfall occurs is that when the degraded soil is not absorbing a lot of the water or nutrients, it causes soil erosions. And then also the runoff um, creates run pesticide runoff into a lot of our waterways. A huge, a huge example of this would be in the Mississippi River a lot of pesticide runoffs occur into the Mississippi River, which then leads to the Gulf of Mexico, creating an area in the Gulf of Mexico called the dead zone. Uh, this dead zone uh, has a decreased amount of oxygen, which kills a lot of the marine life in this area. Hey, I'm Gabriel, and this is the second part of our demonstration. Here we have the bread that represents a healthy soil. And actually, a bread and a healthy soil, they have some similarities. Uh, in both cases, their structure are caused by microorganisms. Uh, in the bread, we have yeast, living microorganisms that makes the bread structure and kind of pores and empty spaces that makes the breads fluffy. And in the soil, we have organic matter. And this organic matter is a product from the decomposition caused by microorganisms. Before demonstrating the rain, I will spray some color on this bread that represents uh, chemicals that we usually spray on agriculture, like pesticides and fungicides. And when it rains on the bread that represents a healthy soil, we're going to see something totally different from what we first saw on the flower example, because the, the healthy soil, it will act like a sponge, absorbing all of this water. And it doesn't matter how many rain you have, the soil is able to observe this water and you won't see a runoff. Did you know that beyond structuring the soil, organic matter also has the ability to hold uh, up to 20 times its weight in water? It means that if we face a drought, a healthy soil will be able to hold water on it and a healthy soil would be a water saving for plants' roots. Now that we could visualize the difference between healthy and unhealthy soil, I'm going to leave you guys with two very interesting facts. First one, there can be more microorganisms in a teaspoon of soil than there are people living on Earth. Microorganisms are one of the keys for soil health and they luckily they reproduce really, really fast. What brings me to my second and for me the most interesting fact. Soil has the natural ability to self-regenerate. By managing properly your soil and taking actions that are aligned with soil health, we can create options for a different pathway. 
your soil can be source of clean water and air, bountiful crops, forests, grazing lands, diverse wildlife, and a beautiful and amazing landscape. But it's up to us to take care of soil health. We hope you enjoyed this video as part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on the OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.